you're not going to be able to take, you're going to see uh, the vacation home of your dreams, you know, in the Hamptons, and it's going to be 10, 20 cents on the dollar, and you're not going to be able to buy that bargain. Or same thing, you know, Apple yeah. stock, your favorite company, you know Apple's going to survive this. A, a lot of this reset is to, to shift market share to the most efficient and, and best focused companies long term. Well, those, Apple's going to come out of this screaming. So will Samsung. There's a lot of companies you can say, these companies will survive. What if you could buy Apple? 80% off. How much money are you going to make on that long term? So, so that's the simplest thing. You know, the, the most complicated thing, the flip side, you bet on things going down. The, the good thing, bubbles go up much faster than normal markets. And most bubbles build over five to six years in stocks and use typically more like 10 years for real estate. The trick is they burst much faster. They burst two to three times as fast as they build. So if somebody realizes things have to go down and you don't get crazy and get leveraged and try to be a fancy trader or something, if you just say, well, I'm going to take some part of my portfolio and I'm going to bet on stocks going down. And you just sit on it. You don't have leverage. You don't get stopped out or anything, get margin called. And if, if we're right in the next, my indicators particularly point that.